So what is going on guys, Nando Prince 93 here with another video. And before I even start with the topic of this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody that's been supporting. Couldn't have gone to over 2,000 subs in less than three months without you guys, and it's honestly an amazing feeling. You know, I just try to put out content that shows a little bit of value, shares my opinion on things, and at the end of the day, lets you make an educated decision on whether or not you want to go with that software, or if you've learned something new about the software you're currently using, or if you guys want to make a purchase in hardware, whether it is an iPad or something different. So again, huge thank you, you guys are awesome. At the end of the video, if you guys stick around, I'll have a little gift card giveaway for the first person that hits it. So if you guys wanna to skip to the end, go for it. So again, huge, huge thank you for all the support and we're gonna dive right into it. And also guys, I do want some opinions, so leave your comments below. Would you guys want me to change up how these videos are done? What I'm saying is, should I do kind of like an unbox therapy setup where it's more of my face reviewing the products or do you guys want me to stick, you know, keep it like this where it's kind of a POV, a point of view aspect for all the products and softwares that I'm reviewing. You know, just food for thought, because I am planning on getting a nice little setup in the apartment where I have a big desk, so it'll be a lot more room for me to navigate, and maybe it'll come out a little bit better, but maybe I'll try one out, see how it goes, and see how you guys respond to it. But to jump into the video, today is part three of top 15 iPadOS hidden features. Feature number 11, so we're on part three now, so feature number 11 has to, revolves around privacy, which is something that Apple really, really focuses on because you know their big selling point nowadays is that everything's encrypted, everything's locked, they don't share your information with anybody, they don't sell their informa our information, so that's awesome. And one thing that has been big has been location tracking, right? So if you go into settings, under privacy, you can see that you can turn off location services for everything, and then also, so in each individual app, there's settings now, and they added this new dialogue called ask next time. Basically what that means is every time you open that application, it's gonna ask you, hey, do you wanna allow us to use your location just as once, forever, or do you wanna keep it as ask next time? So that's a great way to kind of keep track of everything that's going on from a GPS and location services perspective. So you know that these apps aren't tracking you in the background. So for instance, for American Express, I only let them know my location when I open the app, time by time basis. So that's an awesome new feature for privacy. If you guys are worried about that, that's big. Another nice little tweak that Apple added, because as you guys can see, the new App Store is laid out differently, especially on the bottom. The, the updates used to be on the bottom right. There used to be an update button instead of the search, but now it's in here. So you have to click here, you know, refresh it, and you can see that I have 13 apps that need updating. But let's say you go through, you have a million apps on your phone or your iPad, and you're like, hey, I don't really use, let's go with, I don't really use realtor.com real estate app, but there's the options to update. So what you can do is you can, delete the app straight from the app store. Just swipe to the left and hit delete. So that's a nice little touch so you don't have to like just update everything randomly, keep an app installed that you know you use maybe once a year and you can just download it again when you do use it to save up space. So that's a nice little feature that they added. Another huge one, which I feel bad because I used to use a, I think it was called Genius Scan to scan documents and create them into PDFs. And that was a really, really nice feature because I because I try to stay as digital as possible, so if I have a contract or something or a document that I need to scan and make it a PDF and send it to somebody, I could just use the app called Genius Scan. But now Apple, you know, as they've been doing, ruining third-party uh, applications, which I mean, I'm okay with because it keeps it into the native operating system. If you go into the Files app, you now have the option, if you go to these three dots up here, to scan a document directly from the Files app and create a PDF and save it to your files. So I think that's an awesome feature. It's built in, finally. And I just love that feature. So I use it all the time for work. And it's nice to be able to do it from your iPhone or even from your iPad. So you can scan the document and then edit it right then and there from your iPad. So now that Safari is a desktop, you know, class browser, which for the most part is an amazing improvement, but people still sometimes want to use the mobile, the mobile site because for the most part, it brings in less data and it's optimized for you being on the road and you being mobile. That's why it's a mobile site. So now the way you do it is you just click on the font button up here on the top left of the URL, and that's how you request a mobile site. So you just click it, and then obviously you can, there's no mobile site for YouTube Studio, but that's the way you request whether you want to go regular desktop site or mobile site. And then last but not least, it is the addition of the new Animojis. So, so the, there's a bunch of new Animojis that you can choose from, which is awesome. So you just click on the Animoji page, and it gives you a whole, you know, you can just dr drag through these. I think the mouse, octopus, and cow are all brand new. So if you guys, you guys can see that the cow is speaking as I'm speaking. So again, new fun additions that are nice. 
that iPadOS is always you know, improving on. Hopefully we get iPadOS 13.2 here in the next few days and I'll do a review on that to show you guys some new things because there are some valid improvements to the operating system. So that's gonna do for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. I still have to do part two and three of the you know, top 15 best iPad Pro accessories. But if you guys stuck around for the video, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Here is the Amazon gift card. So whoever wants to use it, go for it. And you guys are awesome. So until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.